Hi hey up guys, just uh, thought I'd show you two new bits of kit uh, what I've got for the van, for me and Michelle because um, we're sick of having pots and pans chucked everywhere uh, taking space up so we've got more compact things now uh, this has got two bowls in which I'll show you at another time but I'll just show you this frying pan first I know it's stainless steel so it wants seasoning uh, but I've got a good idea how to do it. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to do it uh, and it's pretty straightforward to be fair. Uh, this is not a lightweight backpacking frying pan. It's ever so heavy. Uh, that's the reason why I wanted it as well. Um, it's got the, a bit like the other cook system from Stanley, a small one, a little pot thing. You just pick it up like that and then locks it into place and slide that down. Stops it from falling apart on you. Got a nice rubber lid. You get a nice chopping board weight. If you're doing chicken or whatever like that, or you're just gonna cut some onions up or whatever. You get a couple of spokes, which I'm gonna put a, as you all know how to do, little bit of twig in between that elastic band which will turn them into tongs and also you get and I'll fix it together I'm doing it all in one hand because I've no tripod down here I'm at my shelves so you get a fit together spatula which is really to be honest it's very very strong I'm surprised to be honest it's a cracking little thing just for that and you get two so-called plates but as you can see they only maybe seven inch across they're all right for a small meal kiddies meal i'll probably get one decent bread cake on it or bread bat bread roll bread bloody whatever you come from, wherever you come from yorkshire's bread cake uh, on them but they're all right they're substantial it's pretty thick plastic and then you also get it bottom of it we get what they call a trivet so obviously if your pan's red hot instead of Milky on your table, you just stand it on that which is heat proof. But what I should use that for is probably if it's been on a fire or whatever, just grab it with that. But like I say, it's a really substantial frying pan, stainless steel. As you know, Stanley's been around for a long time, they make great stuff, they make great tools and everything. Um, and it's a really good frying pan. I would say it's probably about uh, what would we say? 10 11 inches across, roughly. In fact, I can tell you exact in a second when we find it. Maybe we're not going to find it. Oh, 940 sorts, what's what it holds? Uh, uh, 18.4 centimeters. So, I don't know what that is. G, yeah, 18.4 centimetres, or 7.25 7 inches, that's all, I thought it was more than that, it's a bit longer than that, anyhow, but it's big enough for tourists, it's perfect for tourists, you struggle for three, like if you get, you can get bacon and sausage in there, and then eggs and that lot, but obviously, as we all know, guys, stainless steel sticks like certain things to a blanket, but I've uh, been shown on YouTube, like I said, how to season it, so I'm going to have a go later on at seasoning it. You get your pan right, really red hot, put a little bit of oil in it, wipe it down with some kitchen roll, take it off the heat, let it cool down and keep doing that 10 times. And then the pores on the stainless open up a little bit, a bit similar to cast iron, uh, open up and obviously the oil soaks into the little, into the, you know, into the little bits like or whatever they call it, I don't know soaks up into it and stops it from sticking like a certain stuff to a blanket so we will see what happens it should should be all right but it's a cracking little kit for money and i got it from amazon but it's spot on i like it it's all compact slides into anywhere you want little storage boxes what we've got it'll all fit in there spot on and then i'll do a separate video on this probably tomorrow uh, this has got two bowls with it, spatulas and everything like that. So I'll show you all that one tomorrow, guys. So when I've uh, got it all proofed or whatever they call it, seasoned, 
uh, I'll uh, fetch you back. Probably not be today. And uh, uh, cook an egg in it. That's the main thing that sticks like a certain stuff to a blanket. And we'll see what that cooks like. Uh, hopefully, hang on. I can't do that kind of bit. Hopefully, we can uh, uh, get it so the eggs will not stick at all. I'll just take this off. That's it. All over the place again, look. So hopefully, eggs won't stick at all. That's it, and then chopping board goes back in. That fits on top like so. That goes underneath, and that's it, guys. Hold on. So, we'll say when I get down to it, probably tonight or tomorrow, I will do season it and bring it back and show you it being done. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later on. Bye for now.